In this module, I will show you a couple of exercises that will help you become more creative and some techniques that will help you get to grips with sketching cars. We will be talking about lines and I'll explain that in a minute. But first we're going to open up a new canvas. As I showed you in the first lesson, so the canvas you stay with the orientation top. You stay with center of window. You click this on becoming white again. So you have a white one. And in this case I would like to get a bigger paper. So I'm selecting A3, which is about 11 by 17 in inches. And then uh, keep everything on millimeters. It's on your, your own preference. I keep it in landscape anyway, so that should be okay. And now I can zoom in. You can do that with the middle mouse wheel of your on your computer. Or you can click it like this. So you have a complete black sheet of paper. Again, we're going to the pencil. And I keep everything standard for the moment. From the previous lesson, I made it into a dark blue. You can make any color that you want. That doesn't matter. It's just now testing. What I mean with lines is that every drawing has lines. Really simple. Whatever. But you want to sketch cars and you're being forced to be creative. Being forced to be creative means that you have to be able to use your creativity, use your mind, use your uh, imagination. So in this case, I'm cleaning this up. cleaning the sheet and I'm saying okay that means for instance that if I draw any line I can make something out of it so I have a particular line here on the screen you see with a beginning soft and the end a bit darker and what can I make out of it you have to in this case we're sketching cars so what can I make out of it use my creativity and think okay I can make this into a fender line of a car Sketch some wheels in it. Center line. You'll hear me using all these phrases throughout, and I will actually get you a, an overview of the phrases that we commonly use within car design so that you know what we're talking about. But you see, from this line, there's one simple line. I made a little car. Now this is from this thing, so I'm seeing this as the the hood uh, bend out to the fender and from the fender then over to the wheel arch. So that's the sort of idea that I'm thinking with this. But it's just any line will do. What I can also do is go back to this menu for the eraser and then the eraser say clear canvas and then we get the same result. Let's make another line. For instance this. That's easy, but I can make a car, for instance, that, that is here the front like the other one with the front fender and the rear fender, but I can also make a car if I do the wheels here and another wheel there. I can also say that the car is actually driving in this direction, going that way. And then that would make this the rear of the car. So if this is the rear of the car, say a more classical looking Bugatti type vehicle. And still here I would make a little section over here. And this is the rear fender and the front fender. And the car. So you have to use your lines to get different ideas and clean this again. And let's see if we can make the general idea with the sketching and with the lines is that you just make a line and not be intimidated by that line after you make it. For instance, if I do this, what can I make out of that? Well, just start drawing. Just really start drawing. Let your creativity go through. So this is a negative section here. And this is positive going over there. And this could be a section line 
again over the uh, rear shoulder maybe so I can get this to be the roof and this being a rear area I could change this section here a little bit so that I also get a negative here over the top of the rear fender and then get a wheel here so this is actually the rear three-quarter panel of a car so if I then draw for instance the windows in here and this D pillar and this could be the cut line and here going over to the roof see so the line was really weird when we started but it could actually be something that you can use so you can the the reason why I'm saying this is you want to stay creative and you want to come up with new ideas and new ideas sometimes come from the weirdest of things any line you can draw could lend you into something potential you can immediately dismiss it or you can think about it and say oh that's actually not a bad idea what can I do with it you notice that I'm shading this the whole time that is to give myself a little bit more of an idea so this is a little bit darker so this is glass and it's a little it gives me a little hint of where I want to go with this uh, this idea this suggestion also I do these things in the wheels just to give me a little indication of where I want to be with the wheel type of thing so I know that this is a three-quarter rear section and I I can save this as a sketch or I can I can delete it if I want to I'm going to save this again and call this number three and I'm going to clear it again and then I'll change the color of the sketch again you can do anything you want with these sketches so I'm going to make it into like a burgundy type of thing maybe make it a little bit more blue in the hue and get a nice colored pencil so the idea with all these sketches is that you just use it as a brainstorm tool for yourself so whatever you want to create uh, I'm doing a blind I had my eyes closed when I drew this line so I don't have a clue what came out of this uh, but again I can use this oh what normally you don't do this exaggerated stuff but just if you don't have any uh, ideas if you're drawing a blank it might be an idea to just uh, draw a line on the paper and then see what you can make out of it in this case I'm thinking well I can make something out of it like a, a race car fender and I go in here I see this is a hollow shape go in here give it a little bit of shading again here and since this is doodle a sketch I can say well I ignore this part at the moment I just go over this this is the center line and I go out and then I come over here and then this thing is a section inside here see and then So, the lesson in the, the idea from this lesson is that you shouldn't be afraid of putting a line on this paper. This this paper is not paper. This is actually free, uh, empty sheets, blank sheets. In this le in this course, you want to be as creative as you can, and you have to be able to open your mind. So, if you open your mind by just whoop, putting a line on the paper and then see what you can make out of it, you're doing a really good job. That's how that's how open we want you to be. And that's what really helps the, the training here.